1,3-butadiene is produced through the processing of petroleum. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, it is mainly used in the production of synthetic rubber, but is also found in smaller amounts in plastics and fuel. It is a colorless gas with a mild odor and can be condensed into a liquid. The agency reports that exposure to 1,3-butadiene mainly occurs in the workplace, including the following industries. Synthetic elastomer production, petroleum refining, secondary lead smelting, water treatment, agricultural fungicides, production of raw materials for nylon, and the use of fossil fuels. Exposure can also occur from automobile exhaust, polluted air and water near chemical, plastic, or rubber facilities, cigarette smoke, and ingestion of foods that are contaminated from plastic or rubber containers. OSHA states that the health effects caused by exposure to 1,3-butadiene can be split into two categories, acute and chronic. Acute exposures can further be split into low and high doses. Acute low exposures may cause irritation to the eyes, throat, nose, and lungs. Frostbite may also occur with skin exposure. Acute high exposures may cause damage to the central nervous system or cause symptoms such as distorted blurred vision, vertigo, general tiredness, decreased blood pressure, headache, nausea, decreased pulse rate, and fainting. Chronic effects caused by exposure to 1,3-butadiene are controversial. Several human epidemiological studies have shown an increase in cardiovascular diseases and cancer. California's Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment added 1,3-butadiene to the list of chemicals known to the state to cause cancer for purposes of Proposition 65 back in 1988 and for developmental and reproductive toxicity in 2004. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has classified 1,3-butadiene as a known human carcinogen. These are just a few things to know about 1,3-butadiene and potential exposure risks. To learn more about this or other industrial hygiene, chemical, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.